first thing I'm going to start off with is foundation. Just for once, I'm not going to be using BB cream because as you can probably tell, my skin isn't completely up to just using BB cream. So we're going to use something a little heavier. And also, Mother Gothel's skin is pretty flawless. So with BB cream, it does tend to leave any kind of minor imperfections showing through, which normally I like, but for this look, it isn't appropriate. So I'm going to cover everything up first using the foundation. After that I'm going to be using concealer. Now if you have a palette like this, the easiest way to get the shade which is as close as possible to your skin tone is just to hold it right next to your face. I'll be using a blending brush to apply this. I don't really like using concealer brushes, I find they're too flat and they tend to kind of shovel the product on and I think you know that I don't like shovel product on. So I'll be using that to blend out the concealer. And then I'm going to be using a colour from Sleek, I think it's called Suede, and I'll be using that as the contour. Then after that I'm going to be using pomegranate from Sleek and I'm going to be using that as blusher. Now Mother Gothel's got quite heavy blusher so you can be quite heavy handed with this but if you go overboard it's very simple. Take your foundation brush and run over it and it will brush out anything which is a bit too extreme. Next I'm going to fill in the brows but quite lightly because Mother Gothel's got quite thin eyebrows so I'm going to try and cheat my way a little bit. I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas and then with an eyebrow comb, I'm going to brush everything in, pressing it together with my fingers. And then after that, whatever's left on the blender brush that I used before for my concealer, I'm going to be putting that underneath the arch of the brow and underneath my brows as well, just to make it appear to be higher up than it actually is. I've already applied a primer and we're not going to be using a black eyeliner this time, it's a bit too harsh for Mother Gothel. Instead we're going to start off with a brown eyeliner and we're going to line the lower waterline and the upper line just to make the lashes appear a bit thicker. Next we're going to be using a combination of two things, an eyeshadow stick from Kiko and a sleek palette. The first thing we're going to do is use the eyeshadow stick and you want to lean back and blend this all the way up till you can feel the bit in the brow bone where it starts to dip and where the crease is. You want to fill it all the way up to that. Blend out the edges as quickly as you can as well because this eyeshadow stick dries very quickly. And after that I'm going to be using the darker shade in the Sleek palette which oddly enough when it's mixed with this ends up looking slightly purple which was a quite nice side effect but it wasn't intended and I'm going to blend this all the way into the crease, all the way into the inner corner. Now at first it's going to look a little bit like you've been punched in the eye, but don't worry, once everything's blended out it's going to look right. So you want to really fill in the inner corner. You know that bit where you can feel it dipping right above the inner corner of the eye? You really want to fill that in. And then on the outer corner of the eye, take a thinner brush and start blending that on the outer corner of the lashes, blending it up to the crease. With the black eyeshadow, we're going to do some very harsh lines just to make the eyes look a little bit more deep than they actually are. Now obviously if you've got eyes which naturally sink in quite a lot, you won't need to do this step, but I don't have that so I have to cheat a little bit. So I'm going to do lines just to outline it and then I'm going to blend it like crazy so it doesn't look too harsh. Then taking the brown shadow that we used before, I'm going to line the lower lid again make it look a little bit darker and also to blend it up to the eyeshadow which we've applied on the top lid and then with a thinner brush I'm going to line the upper lid but I'm going to make it a lot thicker in the centre of the lid to make my eyes look a little bit rounder and larger than they actually are and we're going to fake the natural shape of my eye a little bit more by drawing a really thin line right at the very start of the brow and then making a very thick line just underneath the outside which we're then going to blend like crazy so it doesn't look quite so harsh. And for the rest of the eye we're going to finish off what I like to think of as a kind of villain's flick. All villains have this kind of flick on the outer corner of their eye when they look down. So we're going to add that to Mother Gothel a little bit more, finishing off with some false lashes and the lips. For the lips we're going to have to use quite a combination of products, so I'm going to start off with a peachy colour which I'm going to apply all over the lips. And then on the very top lip we're going to be using a slightly more darker pink colour which we're just going to apply to the top, but then we're going to blend together a little bit by pressing the lips together. 
Over all of that, I'm going to be using a very light pink and very shimmery lipstick, which I'm going to apply over the upper lip and the lower lip. At this point, you probably want to take a little bit of the lipstick off just by pressing it on a tissue or the back of your hand, because otherwise it's going to be hard to blend in the lip liner. But once you've done that, you're going to take a very kind of light brown lip liner, and we're going to outline everything, blending it into the lipstick that we've already applied, before finishing off with quite a bit of lip gloss because Mother Gothel has quite a lot of lip gloss on actually and we're going to apply that just on the upper lip primarily on the cupid's bow and then on the lower lip right in the center and that's it you're done <laughs>